Um, but yeah, we're going to get this one started. We're not going to waste too much time here. Because I want to get as many done as possible. I want to do all. I want to review all the uh, RLCS games except two. The ones, the two that I'm not going to review are these ones down here, Losers Round One, uh, and also the Show Match. We're not going to do those, but all the other games we're going to do. Uh, before I go to, um, before I go to, Sweden, next week. Bad Panda will buy me new shirts. I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. I love the the, the what do you call it, the panda. The bad panda. <laughs> the mean panda. Hey, sub killer Rican. How's it going, buddy? But yeah, guys, I'll try to pay as much attention to my chat as possible throughout this, but if I see something that I want to talk about in the game, I'm obviously going to ignore the chat a little bit. Hope you, hopefully you guys don't mind. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you, if you really want to get my attention, then you're just going to have to pay for it. You're going to have to get the, get, what's his name? Russell to read it out for you. I'll probably, like I said, if I really want to explain something, the good thing about this is I can pause this video so I can answer a question uh, from a sellout source and then get right back into it. But yeah, let's get this one going. What is Bad Panda? Bad Panda is a new website that I'm involved in. We're going to be putting out lots of new content. The content that I'm involved mostly in is stuff related to pro uh, players. Anything related to pro players, I'll be involved. So yeah, interviews, workshops, it's all going to be there. I highly recommend you check it out. It's something that I'm very passionate about. It's, and you talk about history with these teams as well. Maestro was one of those players that has had probably the best... Let me know about the volume as well. I'm going to have this on in the background. Also is difficult, but based upon the scrims that we've been seeing, he's actually filled those shoes quite well. <clears throat> so Northern Gaming against Jam. I'm pretty sure everybody expected this to go 3-0 to Northern Gaming. Uh, spoiler alert. It does. We're going to look at some of the things this game which uh, gave Jam some problems. Jam, of course, the second seed team from Oceania. They barely scraped through past, uh, I believe, Sandcastle. I won't lie, I was cheering for Sandcastle, my boy Dumbo. I really wanted him to make it. It's very quiet. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Turn up a slight bit. I don't know. Right, maybe a little bit. Okay, there we go. That's it. Uh, Northern Gaming were actually the scariest team in scrims, for the most part. They weren't they weren't completely consistent, but scrims are never they, scrims never are consistent. I don't think they, there's ever been an RLCS where one team has just dominated every single scrim. Uh, that's that's a practice game for anybody who doesn't know. Uh, just a scrim is you know you, you just play a series or you play a, a set of games against another team. And it's just practice, so Northern Gaming were pretty scary. I was very impressed with how they were, how organized they were looking. Devo, of course, has shown us before on LAN that he is probably the most threatening individual talent in the world. In Amsterdam, I think that he was, outside of Flipside, by far the best player in Season 2. And... Remco Turbo, of course, very, very good players as well. Remco, probably the best player at this at the time of this game occurring. Remco is probably the most successful player never to have won an RLCS line. So excited for VOD reviews. Puppy forward to the next few streams. Jimmy Baz, thanks for the three. Uh, I hope you enjoy the VOD reviews as much as you're anticipating. <coughs> Speaking of Remco, he is playing the breakout for this... Uh, for the series. That was a nice setup, by the way, by Mons Connor. Unfortunately, nobody was close behind him. But that should have been a goal. Should have been a goal for Express. Wide open net. Just like their brethren, uh, Alpha Sydney, there was accuracy problems for Jam to start this one off. Northern Gaming are sitting back deliberately here. They're, they're just soaking up pressure. And Remco calls off, uh, I believe, Turbo from this aerial. What happened in... Uh, I'm sure there was a defender back here. Where do you go? Camera work's making it difficult to Finally, follow. you are back to reviewing. You better do all of the Hold games this time. BTW, my team got signed by Comrade Gaming. Free mouse pads, Kappa D. Hey, nice, Zaz. Thanks for the eight months, by the way. But yeah, I will do all the games except two. I'll do all the games except two. Hold on. I want to see what on earth happened to the defender here. 
Because we saw there's uh, Bangos here, Monte Connors here. That means that Express has just exited green left. Oh, he, got, he went for boost and he turned up field. That's a bit of a misplay. Yeah, I think he just turned the wrong way. If Express turned to face the goal here, we, he would have had an easy save. But, I mean, it wouldn't have been a guaranteed save because at this point, Remco's probably shouting to Turbo. Uh, that it's in and just leave it, leave it, leave it because he knows that the goalkeeper's not going to get there in time. But if the goalkeeper was there, then Turbo could interfere. Oh, Jack is, by the way, welcome back, buddy. I appreciate that. Thanks for the 10 months. These snozberries taste like snozberries. Thank you, snozberries, for the snozberry message and the, I believe, $10 donation. Just under eight British pounds. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. The strategy here is very clear from Northern Gaming. They're just going to sit back and wait for misplays before uh, trying to punish. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Hold on a second. The Devo just booms it. Remco... Remco is kind of there. I don't know what on earth happened in defense, so that shouldn't be a goal. Somebody should definitely be ready for that. It seems like Jam Gaming are not prepared for clear balls of, uh, of Northern Gaming here. Like, we see their Turbo playing really smart in that situation. He could have gone in there and hoped that Monty Connor would miss. But instead of doing that, he just turns away. My favorite tight streamer and I love your international show marches. BK, 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 BK. I was saying, Turbo turns away because although he knows there's a chance that the defender might miss the ball and he can take a shot, he's playing safe. He knows that uh, they're already in the lead. He doesn't need to take that risk. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> That's like the third goal this game that have all just kind of floated in. It is a very nice shot by Remco, but uh, Jam Gaming just not quite there in defense. Not quite there. Dear Sleeper, thanks, thanks, thanks for such a consistent streaming schedule. I wouldn't say I have that a consistent streaming schedule. I keep traveling to different places, which I can't stream from, but I appreciate the 100 shares, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Dix, as well, for the kind words and the two-month resub. And the duckiest ducky for the new sub as well. I appreciate that. I'll try and keep up with notifications as we go here. This game, it did start off quite nicely for Jam. They, they had a couple of chances. Express had an open net that he should have scored. Yeah, Pentagram, exactly. Do you have a schedule? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I don't have a stream schedule. In fact, I told you guys I'd stream yesterday, but then I was just far too busy uh, with uh, organizing promos for Bad Panda, which you guys can see up there. New website that uh, I'm involved in. You guys should definitely check it out. I mean, at this point, the game's definitely over for game one. Jam, I've got to be thinking about what they can improve for the next game. Going, put another shrimp on the barbie. You went off like a frog in a sock when he scored the zero second goal. Loving this new voice and all your content. Hang loose, puppy stereotype. Hey, Weenhill, thanks for the four months. I don't know why the why Russell censored Cucks, but you're right, Cucks did go off like a frog in a sock when he scored the zero second goal. We'll be looking at that game today as well uh, on Twitch. It was a big ask for the OCE teams to come and compete with the top European teams because the OCE teams are quite used to playing against American Rocket League uh, players on the West Coast. The OCE players, they can queue up West Coast and they get anything from 180 to 240 ping, which isn't ideal, but they, you know, they got, they get to uh, play against American players a little bit. But with Europe being exactly on the other side of the world, it's completely infeasible for uh, Australian teams to practice, practice against European teams. And European Rocket League is very different style. The only team that really plays like a European team from America is NRG. Full rotation uh, and passing play. Teams like Rogue and Selfless break rotation a lot in favor of uh, disruption, interceptions, and so on. 
Huge, huge win here. There's Turbo's, uh, his favorite celebration. It's a good pass by Devo. Infield passes are a very, very common thing in Europe as well. Very, very common thing in Europe. You've missed this so much. Well, I, I told people before, or I told my chat last time I streamed, that the reason I didn't do RLCS World Reviews for Season 2 is because I wanted to practice my casting more and I was having a lot of fun with 1v1 show matches. And don't worry, there will still be 1v1 show matches. Uh, if I can fit in any this week before I go to DreamHack Sweden, I'll try, I will. Uh, try to. I will certainly try to. Might be difficult though, because I do have to... Let me move this down a little bit. Who do you think is better, John Sandman, Worthless, or Neat Mike? Uh... And if it was in their favor, then they Sorry, I moved the chat. Who do I think is better, John Sandman, Worthless, or Neat Mike? I've never actually seen... Uh, much of their play against each other. I would have to. I would have to play with them to know. I've played with uh, Neat Mike a few times. He had. I liked his playstyle actually. He was very grounded, which I like. Very dribble focused, which is good. I played against John Sandman, of course, as you guys all know, and he was good at challenging and 50-50s uh, and demos and very physical stuff like that, so I was impressed with that aspect of his game. Rob uh, Wiffless I've never played with or against, so I don't know. We did see though in the regional championship they started a little bit. They all seem pretty close though. They're a good they're a good match for each other. Uh, skill wise. Obviously that clear favorite, but Jam Gaming, they showed how persistent they can be in that lower bracket when they played in that double elimination. But if, if you weren't talking about Rocket League, who's better, John Sandman, Wiffless, or Neat Mike? Um, I think that Mike was the one that I talked to the most at RLCS, then probably Rob. And John, I, I didn't, it's not that I didn't talk to John, I think it was just the least. I had a very funny conversation with Rob at the after party, which I'm not going to talk about. <laughs> I'm not going not gonna to go into the details on. Yeah, they're all they're all really nice guys. You are like a Scottish and bigger nosed version of John Sandman. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> That's so mean. <laughs> I guess it's not all bad. <laughs> is that the only the only thing that really makes me different is my nose and my nationality? So my goodness, so many arcing shots just finding their way into Jam Gaming's net. Like, these goals should not go in. Bango just completely underestimating Remco's placement, but that should never go in against a team that are prepared defensively. You would not see that hit the back of the net. That would get saved. By the way, Booze1234, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. And it was Kyrpa with the comparison and the donation of three. And it's Mark King asking about the who the best F2 member is as well. Thank you guys for the support. All of the OCE teams are pretty fast in the air. There's a slight hesitation there by Monty Connor, which is going to get punished. And oh, that would have been a great shot by Devo. Remco's up high enough and fast enough. Remco's breakout play in the air is pretty good. But I've been a critic of his long car play in the past, and it's mostly just his confidence, like, approaching ground shots and dribbling plays. I feel like he's less consistent when he plays a, a longer car. Day two of, um, or day three of RLCS when Remco whipped out the breakout was a whole different story. I can't remember what car Remco played on day two, though. I can't remember what car Renko played in day two. Defensively, Northern Gaming were almost flawless. Um, besides the one series that they did lose at LAN, their defense was very, very impressive. And Jam need to pretty much hit every single shot that they get if they want to win this series, which uh, up till now has not been happening. They're yet to score. 
Express completely out boost though, as he was on the wall, so unable to get any sort of creativity. Or so I think Northern would have played better with Maestro compared to Turbo. I don't think so. I think they played the best Rocket League I've ever seen Northern Gaming play on uh, day three of LAN. They were flawless. Flawless in the midfield and defensively. It was so frustrating to play against them for all of the other teams that they faced. Shot comes in, played over into the side this time, and Bango with the clearance. Yet again, that man is going to be needed. If they want to win, well, I just mean hypothetically. If they if they wanted to win this, I should say. Not sure what this. What on earth is this camera change for? Here's Johnny. So I guess the cameraman meant to change to Devo, but he misclicked Turbo or something here, because <laughs> like going to Turbo's POV and when Devo is just about to dunk on the ball is not prob probably not what he was trying to do. Hey, the Magic Star, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that, buddy. Welcome to the stream today. Oh, Devo moving up, kind of removing the option for getting past two. So right here, Devo just landed on the left of the our screen here just off camera and something that happens a lot even at the highest level of Rocket League is that people want to take a run up into a shot so they start moving forward can players change cards between games or series I think so Lerma Pronti I think so but thank you for the six months uh, congrats on the green badge for you appreciate that buddy uh, like I was saying the players want to take a run up for their shot uh, but actually by moving forward here Devo he, he reduces the angle that Remco has to aim into. If Devo is already accelerating forward off screen here, Remco has to be so precise with his pass to hit that one spot that Devo's running into. But if Devo just waits to see where the pass will go uh, or accelerates more slowly, he open, he gives a better angle for Remco to, to pass into, I think. Because right there, we see Devo's underneath the ball in front of where he had initially landed. The pass could have been better, but it's like a two-way thing where Devo can make himself more... Uh, accessible, for lack of a better word, and then Remco can be more precise, so they can both improve in that in that play. It's probably the one of the the things that suffers the most when transitioning from a online environment to a LAN environment is passing. We'll see a lot of teams just uh, giving the ball away in defense instead of passing it to a teammate. We'll see a lot of teams just miss hitting their passes or mispositioning when they're trying to receive a pass. I really feel like passing deteriorates sevenfold in a LAN environment. More pressure, more uh, more panicking. Why does your Twitch Prime sub not get notified even after you reloaded? Oh, Ost gotten her. Do you have a share button at the top of your the chat? If it didn't work, then I'm sorry that it didn't pop off, but I appreciate the resub regardless, my friend. Am I going to do a story time stream? I won't do a story time stream, but I'll talk about things... Oh, Devo actually got that shot fast on the net there. Yeah, I'll talk about stories throughout these um, show matches. This challenge is really not very good by Express. If he looks at where Remco is trying to position his car here, Remco's trying to get around the left-hand side of the ball, so Express should be doing the opposite. He should be going around this side of the ball. Instead, what we see is Express approaches the ball from the same side as Remco, and that opens up the bottom corner for Remco to shoot at. And then at this moment, if Express wants to block that bottom corner, he has to jump between the ball and the goal, and that gives uh, the opportunity for Remco to fake him. So this would have been resolved if Express just lined up his car a little bit more opposite Remco. I really feel like 1v1 skill, uh, or at least dribbling skill, it was... There was a big difference in grind play between the top European teams and everybody else. We'll see that uh, later in the reviews when we watch Mock It Against Rogue. That's the series where it was most outstanding to me. What do I prefer, a tall car or a long car? A tall car. Oh. What, a, what a shot initially by Remco that was. Oh, it's so nearly the first goal for Jam. Nearly the first goal for Jam. There's the biggest difference though between these two teams. So when a long shot goes on the net, there there is somebody there for Northern Gaming to save it. Unlike uh, Jam, who 
oftentimes you're not prepared for that situation. Was the crowd really as dead as it looked on stream? When there was no North American team playing, the crowd was pretty dead. It was pretty quiet. I feel like the crowd need to... Well, one of the problem there, There's a couple of problems, okay, with, uh, with the crowd. So... We're in America, so drinking age is 21. Not ma so that means that the crowd is naturally going to be quieter because less people are drinking. That's just how it is. And uh, those who who are uh, cheering, are, a lot of the American fans were only cheering for American teams. And the rest of the time they were just chilling. They, were, they weren't really there just to watch Rocket League. They were there to watch their team play Rocket League. But uh, in, I've been to Insomnia events where the grand finalists, for example, don't have any fans there who are there for them. There's just fans there for Rocket League. And what people do is they just pick a color and then they cheer for that color. And it's a lot more fun. Like watching the game is more fun if you cheer and if you get into it. And the casters are going to have more fun. The rest of the crowd's going to have more fun. See wall light vid den der gat den see how to veal von blade. What are you? I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question. I'm sorry. But uh, don't fire. Thank you for the five months. I <laughs> appreciate the resub. Thanks for updating the cheer donations. Oh, yeah, King Spectre. More of my money, you magical bean man. Wah, wah, hash. Bring back Brian. <laughs> Why do you want Brian back? Russell's amazing. Thank you, though, King Spectre, for the 250 chairs. The event is also pretty long enough to cheer for everybody all the time to lose your voice before day two ends. I mean, if you cheer hard enough, you can lose your voice in day one. You can lose your voice in the first series if you want to. Um, but yeah, do you know what doesn't take, doesn't hurt your vocal cards? is clapping and uh, boomsticks, which they do give out to everybody in the venues. Those, uh, what do you call them, the plasticky things that you bash together to make noise? The, the crowd could definitely have made more noise. Just like chant and stuff. I feel like if this event was in the UK, we'd show you guys what's up. We'd show you how to do some proper chants for football with cars. We have to remember that in America, like, football or soccer is not the biggest sport. There's American football, baseball, basketball are all bigger. Maybe hockey is bigger in some places. So that's completely different from a lot of places in Europe where what we call football is the biggest. So football with cars is going to be really popular. And we know how to cheer for that because we've been doing it our whole lives. We know what to cheer for. We know what to get excited about. I definitely hope that we get to see a LAN in the UK. Hockey is way bigger. Soccer is nothing in America. Yeah, I figured. I mean, it's pretty big in high schools, I believe. It's a great shot by Turbo. Well done. Good placement. It would have been hard to save even if there was a goalie. Again, Jam just not sitting deep enough for their last man, though. Being completely exposed by long clears. BR Bo, thanks for the kind words, by the way. Welcome to the stream today. Oh, what do you know? Another long shot, but Devo. <laughs> Devo should not be getting first to this ball. It's a phenomenal shot, but Devo shouldn't be getting an uncontested hit there. It's barely above crossbar height when he makes contact. It's almost inside the Jam Gaming box, and no one is there to contest it. So they're just not ready for Northern Gaming clears. Northern Gaming are just hitting the ball way too hard, way too consistently. Jam are not, not prepared. I feel like this is a fault of Jam, though. They could have... They should have been more adaptable. They were nowhere near as adaptable as uh, Alpha Sydney were in their run up to the event and the practice that they were able to do. <laughs> Devo looking to get off the ceiling. Devo is certainly the player who popular, or he was the first player to really master uh, double touch aerials, but only like only the method where you fly into the ball, hit it to the backboard, then continue flying and hit it again. Like I feel like we need a new name for that. It's not a double touch, or there, it's it is a double touch, but it's different from the the sort of double touch that Cux used to do because Cux for months was able to do the backboard setup where he'd come off the wall, hit it at the back wall, fly after it, and rebound it in all himself. That was something Cux popularized. Devo 
kind of does it, he popularized a different method where um, he would just inter intercept a ball, like go up, make it look like he's just going to take an aerial shot and instead of shooting aerial at the backboard, then follow up an aerial, the rebound as well. Oh, got a half volley by Diva, this is pretty clean. How did the ball go this direction? <laughs> Hold on a second, sorry for like going back again, but how on earth does Diva get this ball to go this direction? <laughs> what? <laughs> for once there is somebody ready for Jam to intercept that, but I would not be surprised if that just went length, length, uh, full length of the pitch. It's called a Diva, a David shot. Yeah, the wall double touch where uh, you would go off the wall to the backboard and then follow up. That's like the, the one that Cucks are popularized for sure. Oh. Well then. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no brownie points for spotting the problem here. Monty Connor is turning way too early. He shouldn't be turning here. He should be on the way back because this was uh, Express's turn to move in. Covering our LCS, the Ninja Boss. Yes, we are indeed. Would I rather win our LCS and never play Rocket League again or play Rocket League for as long as I want? Uh... I mean, for me, I don't really need to play Rocket League. I'm a commentator, like, streamer, caster, guy. So I don't need to play. So I guess, yeah, I'll win or else yes, and never play again. It'd be quite nice to win or else yes, I guess. <coughs> I believe Jam haven't scored the series, have they? Somebody in chat, have Jam's, Jam haven't scored? Pretty sure that this has been a complete shutout, which isn't that surprising. I figured it would be a 3-0, but just their inability to deal with the long clears that um, the long clears and long shots that Northern Gaming are, fi are firing at their half and their goal, and they're, they're mispositioning in their own half, like getting caught up together, making sort of tra traffic jams happen amongst each other. Oh. Double commit by Remco and Turbo. I like it. I think Shogun just said follow up by Devo and it was actually Remco and Turbo both double committing. <laughs> so, there you go, they got the Golo. Bam, Bango. Windmills it in. Just felt like Marky wasn't bothered about our LCS. No, Marky was definitely bothered. They really wanted to win. E. Marky's eyebrows are Climb Kronovi's Mountain. Oh, it's Climb Kronovi's Mountain for sure. Easy decision. Traffic jam. Hey. Yeah, that was one of the biggest issues for jam. They kept on blocking each other, or they kept on cutting in front of each other in defense and not ready. They weren't positioning in uh, the right angles in defense either. Like we saw Remco's dribble goal. It wasn't a phenomenal dribble, but he was able to get it past Express because Express just didn't know how to line up his car to like cut off Remco's angle. Nobody, this is, wouldn't know. This isn't a surprise to anybody. It is worth mentioning though that Northern Gaming, they sat pretty far back at the start of this game. And Jam should have had the lead at the start of the series, game, game one. Uh, Jam should have had the lead. No question about that. Turbo Pulsa gonna perform and all those questions seem to be answered. They are looking so very strong in the past plays working together and just playing that slow pace throughout the entire match. So there's another speed it up a couple times here and there, but they look four so minutes here. Very comfortable on this stage. <laughs> Jam does go bad if you leave it long enough. I don't think you're gonna have a problem getting that. Am I only doing RLCS Fod reviews today? I might do some casting as well. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'll like just keep an eye on my uh stats. On my friends list to see <coughs> if there's any good games available to cast. Why do I seem so glum? Am I still sick? Sorry if I seem glum. I am still a little bit sick, so I'm trying to, you know, not stress my voice too much. Do I like how the RLCS rewards worked out? I mean, I didn't get any. I didn't try to get any of those, so I don't really care. I hear a lot of people complaining, though. Who is the best caster? You're looking at him, bro. It's what it felt like watching uh, on 
Twitch. Yeah, dropping to that lower bracket with denial. They have the ability to take this time, see what they did, and kind of make those subtle changes. Obviously, you don't want to go too crazy and off the deep end, but still need to pay attention to those subtle mistakes that they were making and make sure they capitalize. All right, man. Up my gaff for the heavy sesh. All right. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. Reward points greater than drops. Why didn't I cast RLCS? They didn't ask me. Uh, but I was in the, what do you call it? I was on the um, desk for one series. That was pretty fun. He's got Remco on the desk. Nice desk we have here. <laughs> Sorry, Shogun. <laughs> Uh, first, first series for you guys of the weekend. Uh, how did you feel personally? Wait, was this the one where uh, Joey patted Remco on the shoulder and somebody made a meme out of it? We're, we're pretty nervous for upcoming matches since we have one of the hardest brackets out of any team right now. Um, but coming off of screens, we weren't too nervous. Wait, about is Joey hoverhanding? Is that a hoverhand I see? Is this a hoverhand? Cameraman, can we get the alternate angle? We need to see this. Looks a bit suspiciously like a hover hand, if you ask me. Now, uh, <laughs> we, uh, we know that you guys have turbo in right now for, for Maestro, uh, not being able to make it in. What's that dynamic like, you know, you guys having to put time in together, and then this being your guys' first time up on stage with him uh, for this tournament, kind of a good icebreaker for it? Uh, yeah, for sure. We've been practicing uh, like uh, um, uh, a lot the last couple of weeks. We've been playing weekly tournaments like every single day. Um, and yeah, the playstyle of Turbo is a bit different when it comes to, um, or like if you compare it to Maestro's, uh, Maestro is a lot faster than Turbo is, but over the past couple of weeks, we've been adapting to Turbo for sure. And uh, uh, oh. yeah, it shows. <coughs> they are, yeah, they, they looked a lot better uh, backstage practice at RLCS than they did in weekly tournaments. The Turbo Remco Devo lineup did lose 4 0 to, or 4 0 to Flipside with flipside sub like Flarky, Marky and Cuxer beat that lineup 4-0 so I wasn't very confident of them going into the land but then I guess in, in the land they actually showed up pretty big uh, especially in scrims they, were, they just looked so solid they were really really uh, consistent in defense very difficult to break down That's awesome, very fast man. now uh, next up you guys are going to have NRG which are like the kings of NA how do you feel going into that matchup well, NRG is pretty good at losing the first round in uh, at land tournaments, but uh, no, they've been doing very well in NA. They have uh, they've played, they're clearly the best team in NA right now. So um, I don't know. We'll have to see. I guess. Sounds good, man. Guys, once again, give it up for Remco and Northern Gaming. I'm gonna send it right back over to Axe to toss to the guys. All right. So that was NG versus Jam. NG versus Jam. Let me minimize that real quick. Joey hoverhanding Remco's butt. <laughs> the touching never stops. Yeah, it was uh, it was pretty nuts. But yeah, I love I like the I like the trash talk from Remco. That's really good. That's really good. Anyway, let, we're not gonna waste too much time here. Let's get let's get into the next one.